Hey everybody, it's Morgan Crane. I'm in my car. My daughter is napping in the back, so I thought it'd be a good time to make a quick little video. And today I wanted to talk to you about good old fashioned customer service. Um, this video was inspired by this huge bag of skincare products that I just bought. Um, not for my face, but for the body, body butter and scrub and stuff that I just bought um, that I had no intention of buying before I stumbled upon the um, the kiosk that <laughs> I bought it from and it was all because of the customer service and so um, this was in stark contrast to a, a big box store that I had just been at where I was just waiting in line and everybody was super annoyed and nobody was being particularly helpful and actually a woman behind me in line said they can get away with being so cheap because they have no customer service. And I was like, I never thought about that. Um, so it got me thinking about comparisons between somewhere that you consider to be cheap and a negative experience versus a very positive experience um, where you end up buying because of the experience that you had. So I'm just walking through the mall with my little daughter and um, First, I was offered a sample. I was like, sure, why not? Um, and then um, this gentleman, you know, invited me over and did a whole demo on my hands. And the whole time, he was complimenting me and just made me feel like the most important person in, in the entire mall. Um, he was complimenting my daughter. He gave her the same, you know, hand treatment. And after three minutes with him, um, with him making recommendations, I was like, I will buy whatever you want me to buy. I felt amazing. Um, and especially like I'm pretty newly pregnant and I've just been feeling frumpy and gross and sometimes you just feel like a mom and you know, it's just nice to have somebody pay attention and compliment you and then give you suggestions based on, you know, your feedback. And so it got me thinking about how we can give that experience to our customers, whether it's in person or online. Um, great customer service is going to A, make people want to support you and be loyal to you, and B, it's going to make them buy more. Um, which, you know, obviously that's, I don't want to say that's the intention, you know, you always want to get them to buy as much as possible, but I mean, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't kind of the intention when you're working with someone to make sure you're offering all the products that you think they might want or need, um, and, you know, trying to upsell and make sure that they're really covered to get their complete look. So, um, I just think with my customers, um, I don't, you know, sometimes there's people who just go to your website and buy, but I really try to have interactions with people, even if it is online and usually it's via private message. Um, I'll ask them, you know, what kind of look they're going for. You know, are they looking to buy something to spruce up their existing makeup, you know, for nights out? Are they looking to throw out everything that's old and just start over with a day to day look? And when you get that feedback, you can start suggesting colors and combinations of products um, to buy. So, for example, I just had a friend who invested in about $250 in makeup, and she just said, I'm ready for a change. And so she got some skincare products that we talked about, and um, I suggested she had one lip stain in mind, and I suggested two other colors that would look really good on her, and she ended up buying another one of those colors. Um, and I always suggest a set of four pigments um, that they can mix and match for a day look or a night look. And one of them they can use as a liner, one they could use for their brows. Um, and just things like that, um, especially products that have multiple uses. So I'll say, you know, you can, like today I'm using Infatuated right here in my crease. And I also use Infatuated to line my brows. So it's one product, but I get two um, uses out of it. And I have Elegant Cream Shadow on my lids and I also put Elegant right here on my lips to get a little shimmer on my lip stain. And so people really love to hear about those things because they you know, feel like they're getting more for their money because they are, they're able to use a product in more than one way. Um, but the big thing about customer service is just to not, to be sincere and sincerely make them feel like they are the most important person in, 
in the room or in the conversation or or in your world right now um genuine compliments not just you know blowing smoke um you know think about your relationship with the customer and the goal is to strengthen these relationships and then that builds that loyalty and that will get the person to keep coming back to you when they need new mascara or more makeup or they're ready to try something else in the makeup line. So that's kind of my uh, tidbit for today. Um, what are you doing in your business right now to have excellent customer service? Um, how does follow up play into your customer service? How are you approaching people with excellent customer service? Sorry, there's a car alarm in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but that's something you really need to think about as you come across and as you're um, having interactions with your customers every day. If your customer feels amazing after they are in touch with you or after they see you in person or after they interact with you online or on the phone, then they are going to leave the experience feeling amazing as well. So that is what we want for ourselves and that's also what we want for our customers. So I'm super excited about my new salt scrub and body butter and I can't wait to use it because I had that amazing experience um, today. So I, you know, I'm not having that like buyer's remorse. Oh my gosh, it's dropped all this money. Um, you know, that didn't fade because it was genuine. He wasn't just being a you know creepy salesperson, which is something we always want to avoid. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.